In this episode, we want to cover the idea of Windows 7 libraries. Shh. In this episode, we want to cover the concept of Windows 7 libraries. The idea of folders for storing files has been around for over 40 years. And folders are great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the concept of folders for organizing our files. But the challenge is, in today's environment, it's hard to put all of our eggs in one basket. Let me give you a great example. Music. I don't know about you, but my music is all over the place. I've got music on thumb drives. I've got music on other computers. I've got music in three or four different places on my computer. Sure, I know that Windows gives us a place called My Music or Music or a folder where we try to consolidate it, but the problem is, is that that's really not how data is anymore. Now Microsoft recognized this, and with Windows 7, they introduced a new concept called a library. A library is like a bucket, a container. It looks kind of like a folder, but it's really not a folder. It's an organizational unit that we can put links to all of our different sources into one place so that when you open up this library, you can see, well, at least in my example, you can see all of my music without me having to copy my music from a million different sources and put it on my computer. So let's take a look and watch Libraries in Action. The most important thing to appreciate about libraries is that they exist only in Windows Explorer. So you can see them right here on the left-hand side. I can open up any version of Windows Explorer. Here's uh, Pictures. And in this case, I can always see that the libraries are on the left-hand side. So that's where libraries are if you ever want to access them. Now, you can see by default I've got Documents, Music, Pictures, and Videos. If we take a look at Videos, for example, we'll see that there are two folders already in there. One is My Videos, and the other one is the public videos, which on Windows 7, your public anything is always going to be included, like public video and public in your videos library, uh, public pictures in your pictures library, public music in your music library. You get the idea. So first of all, you can make your own libraries. So let's do a new library. And we're going to call it Cool Stuff. Now if I click on that, you'll see it's completely empty. What we need to do is include folders, and this is important. Libraries are groups of folders. You can't take an individual file and put it into a library. You can take that file, create a folder, put it in the folder, and include that folder, but you have to make folders into the library. So let's include a folder, and in this case, we'll go over to the desktop, and we'll use that stuff. Let's go ahead and include that. Now you see the moment that I include it, it shows up in here, and we actually see the individual files. I love Windows 7 libraries. They're a really handy tool, and it takes you away from being constricted from the concept of folders, and instead to give you your own kind of container that can take disparate information from folders all over your system, all over your network, and put it in one easy-to-use single container. Take advantage of libraries. I do it all the time. 